terms of uh, more shots on goal in the power play, uh, how do things get better from one game to the another where you can make uh, make good on a goal that might be big eventually? Yeah, the power play is definitely an area that we have to improve on. Um, I think over the course of the series, we've gotten some big goals, um, most notably the overtime one. But uh, that being said, we weren't good enough last night. Uh, missed opportunities to capitalize on on, um, on an area of the game that we usually take a lot of pride in. Where, what have they done effectively to, to negate the power play, at least from last night's perspective? Uh, they got a good penalty kill. I mean, their goalie was good, but um, I mean, when we went over that the tape and uh, what happened, I think that most of what we saw was us doing it to ourselves um, and, and not executing. But that being said, they have good penalty killers. They work hard. They have lots of speed. And uh, so, I mean, it's going to be a big factor in the next game. Is the case where you're just being a little too passive, you think? or? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, um, you know, our break-ins weren't great. I think we have to come with more speed. And, you know, once we get in zone, we got to get more pucks on net. So, um, you know, it's just a matter of, of executing and um, doing what we did all year. Morgan, what kind of experiences can you draw on for, for tomorrow night's game? Well, um, it's a big game. We have our backs up against the wall. Um, uh, you know, we got to come out and be ready. I think that there's lots of, um, you know, things we can draw on from the previous games in this series to be ready. Um, you know, we know how we have to play. We've played them enough times to know what they like to do, so it's just a matter of being ready. Mike was obviously optimi or confident, as he tends to be at last night. What is the confidence level? What's the, the, the thought process in the, in the room amongst you guys? Uh, we're feeling good. You know, it's a big opportunity for us. Um, you know, good test. Uh, like I said, backs up against the wall, so we're going to come out. We have to be ready. Um, you know, we're on home ice. Uh, we feel healthy. We feel good. And, you know, it's just a matter of going out there and winning the game. How much has that confidence grown from before the puck was dropped in this series, given um, the seedings to now yeah, five yeah. one-goal games? I mean, it's, it's grown a lot. It's, I mean, we've proven to ourselves that, you know, we're right there with these guys. You know, we beat them twice, and, you know, we've gone over uh, OT, what, four times now? So, um you know, we're right there. Uh, so you know, as a group, we feel confident um, in the fact that we can go out there, play our game, uh, play with speed, and, um, you know, give ourselves a chance to win. You mentioned home ice last night. Mike said that coming into tomorrow night's game, you almost have to ignore that and not let the fans dictate how you guys play. Is there a feeling that just have to focus and not think about the big picture too much? Yeah, I think so. I think that, I mean, those first two games at home was our, our first chance to play a home playoff game for a lot of us, and there's definitely more nerves involved. Um, so I think now being a bit more used to it, being a bit more comfortable, I think we'll be um, better suited to come out and enjoy the atmosphere and kind of enjoy what's going on more than, uh, you know, be gripping a stick. How does, uh, I guess, staying in a hotel at home help you be relaxed and, and kiss, keep away from the white noise and all that? That doesn't really change anything, uh, no. Just, you know, we have our normal routine, um, and that has really no impact on, on, on what we're doing. Barry Trotz said uh, a few minutes ago that when you have a chance to push somebody off a cliff, you want to push them off the cliff. Are you expecting the Capitals' best effort tomorrow night with a chance to advance? Well, it seems like every time you know we've we've done this, we've been talking about their best effort coming, and you know that's what you expect. You expect their best effort every night. Um, you know they have a, a a great opportunity here to move on, and we have an opportunity to to keep playing. So you know it's two teams that are expecting to put their best foot forward and play their best hockey of the series so far tomorrow night, so it should be a good game. One of the things Mike said is that people may not believe him, but this really is as much fun as you can have in hockey. Yeah. Has it been that for you? Absolutely. Um, I think, you know, when you're passionate about this game and you're passionate about what you're doing and winning, this is the most, um, I mean, the highest stage you can get to and, you know, the most uh, fun you can have. And, uh, you know, being around the teammates this much and um, playing these important games, you know, uh, really doesn't get any better than this. Looking back to where we were at the start of the season, you're coming off, you're the worst team in the league, um, and now you're kind of toe to toe with a 118 point team. Mm -hmm. Has that been, uh, can you kind of describe that voyage from then to here? And I don't think we have enough time. I think, <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of things that can be said. There's a lot of, um, things that happen but uh, you know a lot of it is just is just hard work and having good people with the right motivation and the right goal in mind and um, um, so <laughs> like I said mm -hmm. you could go on for a long time about about changes that have been made and um, uh, you know uh, what it takes to get from where we were to where we are now but the most important uh, thing is that um, uh, uh, we're here, we're proud of where we've come, but uh, we're not satisfied. We have a long way to go 
until we get to where we want to be. And, um, you know, this is just one step in the journey. And look at your face right now. Is it just, uh, I mean, an indication that you get the privilege of playing in a game six? <laughs> uh, yeah, if that's how you want to look at it, I yeah. suppose. <laughs> um, I think that's putting it nicely. But, uh, you know, we're all enjoying this time of year. It's more intense. Um, you know, it takes more of a toll on your body. But, I mean, like I said, you know, this is this is where you want to be right now. You don't want to be at home watching. You want to be involved. Um, and you want to do whatever it takes. And, you know, with that comes some bumps and bruises. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just part of it, I suppose. Morgan, is there a sense that uh, each of these teams has sort of let the other off the mat over the course of five going into six games, the way they've yeah. given up leads, opportunities you had to win? Yep. That might play in your favor for... Yeah, I mean, I, th I mean, I think you're right. I think we had an opportunity. We're up 2-1 with a game at home to have an opportunity to go up 3-1. And, you know, they come out and have a, a, a good effort. And now they kind of have us down. And, you know, we got to come out and have a strong effort. So that's, I mean, that's how playoffs work. That's how it goes. It goes back and forth. And, you know, teams, teams got their back up against the wall. And, you know, you expect to come out and have a good effort and play your best hockey. And, you know, that's what they were able to do when we had them. So that's what we expect ourselves to come out tomorrow and do. How even does the series feel? I mean, you look at it, one goal more for them, shots are even, yeah. well, five, one goal game. Feels really even. Um, uh, there's been a lot of back and forth, um, changes in uh, momentum, um, close games, all, I mean, all series. So, you know, it's just a matter of, of um, you know, focusing on one game tomorrow night and then, and then, you know, worrying about what's next.